The ancient Roman used letters to write numbers. Even today, the dates are marked on monuments and the public building with Roman numerals. Even the watches and clocks which we use has Roman numbers. Here is a chart. Roman numerals and numbers. There are Roman numerals are written with the letters uh, I, B, X, L, C, D, N. The values are values of I is 1, value of B is 5, value of X is 10, value of L is 50, C, the value of C is 100, value of D is 500, value of M is 1000. There are few rules for writing the Roman numbers. Let's see rule 1. Numerals I, X, C and M can be re repeated to represent a number. Repetition of these numerals means addition. We'll see with the first example I. If you can see here, I value of I is 1. So if there are two I's, the value of two I's will be 2. Value of three I's will be 3. Let's see the example of X. Value, what is the value of X? 10. So 2 X's will be 10 plus 10. We get 20. 3 X's will be 10 plus 10 plus 10 is equal to 30. Next is C. Value of C is 100. So 2 C's will give us 100 plus 100, 200. 3 C's will be 100 plus 100 plus 100, 300. Next is M. M, value of M is 1000. 2 M's will give us 1000 plus 1000 which is equal to 2000. 3 M's will be 1000 plus 1000 plus 1000 will give us 3000. Now, we cannot repeat the numerals more than 3 times. For example, 4 is written as I, V, not 4 times I. Numerals V, L, D are not repeated. That is, V is equal to 5, L is equal to 50, D is equal to 500 can't be repeated. For example, we cannot write V, V or L, L or D, D. Let's see rule 2. A smaller numeral written to the right of the numeral of the greater value is always added to the greater numeral. Now, what do you mean by this? The smaller numeral written to the right of the numeral. That is, i is smaller than x. Correct? The value of x is 10. So, when you write the smaller numeral, that is i, towards the right side. So, 10 plus 1, we have to add it. So, we will get 11. Next is, b, i, i, i. Now, b is equal to 5 and there are Three I's added. So we get 8. Next is LX. Now you know X is smaller than L. L value of L is 50 plus 10. We said it is said that we have to add. Remember? So 50 plus 10 is 60. M C. Value of M is 1000 plus value of C is 100. We get MC is equal to 1100. Let's see rule 3. A smaller numeral written to the left of the numeral of the greater value is always subtracted from the greater numeral. Now, it is when it is written to the left side, we have to subtract. Let's take one example. X, C. Now, you know that C is greater than X. Now, X is written to the left side. Let's see how to get the value of X, C. X is equal to 10 and C is equal to 100. So we have to subtract. The value is always subtracted from the greater numeral. So we have to write X is equal to 100 minus 10. So XC is equal to 90. 100 minus 10 gives us 90. The value of X is 90. Let's see the next example. So I hope you all remember about not repeating I's four times. So how we get the numeral for 4? Here. So here, I, V is equal to 5 minus 1. 
i. So value of i v is equal to 4. Understood now? Okay. C, D. The value of D is 500. The value of 100 is, uh, sorry, C is 100. So 500 minus 100 gives us 400. So C, D is equal to 400. C, M. What is the value of M? 1000. And C, 100. So we have to subtract. After subtraction, we get 900. The value of CM is 900. Now, the symbols V, L, D cannot be subtracted from any number. If you see here, we have subtracted X, uh, only X, I, C from the greater numeral. We cannot subtract V, L, D. Now, here is an example. Okay, 95. So, 5 is subtracted from 100. So, we will get V, C. So, this is absolutely wrong. We cannot write like this. Here. I, X, C are used to subtract. Now, there are six combinations. You have to know it thoroughly. So, I, V is equal to 5 minus 1. We get 4. I, X is equal to 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. So, the value of this numeral is 9. How do we get x? The value of x is 10 and v minus 1. So, therefore, we get 9. Next, x, l. You know the value of l is 50. And the value of 10, x is 10. So, we have to subtract because all these numerals are written towards the left side. So, we are subtracting 50 minus 10 is equal to 40. The value of XL is 40. Next is XC. The value of C is 100. X is 100. So we have to subtract. After subtraction, we are getting 90. So the value of XC is 90. Let's see. Next one. CD. What is the value of D here? It is 500. And value of C here, 100. So 500 minus 100, we get 400. So the value of CD is 400. CM. The value of M is 1000 minus value of C is 100. After minusing 1000 and uh, 100 with 1000, we get 900. Let's see rule 4. When a smaller numeral is placed between two numerals of the greater value, it is always subtracted from the numeral immediately following it. Let's take one example here. If you see here, they said smaller numeral is placed between two numerals of the greater value. Now can you look here, which is the smaller numeral here? Is it X? Is it I? Or is it V? It is I. So I is smaller than X and V. So what are we supposed to do? We have to minus with the number which is after. Now, why it is so? We will see. Now, x, the value of x is 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus here, what are we doing? We are subtracting. So, 5 minus 1, we get 4. You know the value of this number is 4. So, then 30 plus 4 is equal to 34. One more example, c, x, c. Now, x is smaller than these two numerals, correct? So, is equal to 100. The value of c is 100. Plus, we are putting this into bracket, xc. So, we have to subtract here. 100 minus 10. Okay, the value of c here is 100. Value of x is 10. So, we are subtracting. Is equal to 100 plus 100 minus 10, 90. Is equal to, after addition, 100 plus 90, we get 1. 90. Now let's see how to read and write large Roman numbers. Here is one example. What is MCM XXXI equal to? So first I will place them in their place values. So I have written I in 1's place, XXX in 10's place, CM in 100's place and M in 1000's in place. Next. The value of M is thousand plus c m so if you see here c is smaller than m so when 
the numeral is smaller than the greater numeral, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to subtract. So the value of M is 1000 minus value of C is 100. Put them into the bracket. Plus X plus X plus X, that is 10 plus 10 plus 10. Plus I is equal to 1. Then 1000 plus 1000 minus 100 is 900 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 gives me 30 plus 1. After addition, I get a number 1931. Let's see how to write 3817 in Roman numeral. Again, I have written the number here. I have to put them into their place values. Expand the number. Now, after expanding, I get 3000 plus 800 plus 10 plus 7. Now, I have to write the numerals. Now, 3000 means there is, in we have something in 1000. So, what is that? What is the numeral which we will be, we will be using? It is M. So, if I write M three times, it will be 3000 plus 800. Now, how do you write 800? So, which is the closest numeral you can write? It is D. D is how much? It is 500. So, 500 plus, what is the value of C? 100. So, 500 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 will give me 800. Plus, value of 10 is uh, the X. Plus, 7 will give me B, I, I. Okay? Then, we are adding all the numerals and we get finally M, 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 D, C, 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 X, B, I, I. So, this is the value of this number. Let's do exercise 1.6 from the textbook. A. Write the following in the Roman system. So, there are two numbers here, 36 and 39. Let's do 36. Now, you have to write the Roman system. How will you write? First, you have to expand the number. So, 30 plus 6 will give me 30 is we get we have to expand this we will get the x plus x plus x plus 6 is written b s b i so after addition we get x x x b i next is 39 here also it is same so 30 plus 9 we have to expand it put the values x plus x plus x plus x plus i x Rx is equal to 9. We already did this. Okay. Is equal to x, 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 i, x. Third, 506. How will you write? First, you have to expand it. So, 500 plus 6. What is the value of 5? It is d. Plus 6 can be written as b, i. Is equal to d, b, i. Okay, this is the value of 506. Next is 791. First, you will expand the number. How will you expand the number? 700 plus 90 plus 1. Now, what is the value of 700? What is the, now we had done for 800 if you all remember. Same way. So, we, we had to write D, D, the value of D is 500 plus C plus C. So, D 500 plus 100 plus 100 will give me 700. X, C. How do we get X, C? We did this already. Here, X is smaller than C. So, we have to subtract here. So, 100 minus X will give me 90. So, here, X, C, value of X, C is 90 plus 1, I. Then, X. B, C, C, X, C, I. Few more examples. 91, 2800. Again, we have to expand the number. So, what is the number? 2000 plus 800. So, 2000 can be expanded to M plus M plus D plus C plus C plus C. So, 3 times C plus D will give me 800. So, we write M, M, D, C, C, C. Next number, 
1947. Again, we have to expand the number. So after expanding, it will be 1000 plus 300 plus 40 plus 7. So put the values. What is the value of M? Uh, 1000 is M. 300, you can write, if we have to write 3 times C. C plus C plus C plus 40, Excel. I hope you know how we got 40. Okay, Excel plus 7. Then add all together. M, C, 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 X, L, B, I, I. Now, B, question number B. Write the following numbers in the Hindu Arabic system. Now we have to write the numbers, okay? Now look at the numerals here. We have X, X, B, I, I. So again we have to expand it first. So how will you expand it? So it will be 2 X's are there. So that means 20 plus B, I, I plus 7. So it will be 20 plus 7 is equal to 27. Next is x, 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 i, x. Again, we have to first expand it. So x, x, x is what? 30 plus i, x is 9. So we get 39. D, x, c. Okay. Now what do we do here? If you I, I had, which is the rule we are following here? is the fourth rule. Can you see here? C and D are bigger than X. So what are we doing here? Okay. First we are writing the expanded form. Okay. What will be the expanded form here? The value of D is 500 plus XC is equal to 90. So 500 plus 90 gives me 590. L I X. What is the value of L? 50. 50 I X is 9. So 50 plus 9 gives me 59. Fifth one. D C C L X X B I. You have to expand this number. How will you do? B I will come in the ones place. L X X will come in the tens place. D C C will come in the hundred place. So if you put the number, this DCC is equal to 700, LXX gives me 70 because the value of L is 50. 50 plus 10 plus 10 gives me 60 and the value of VI is 6. After adding, we get 776. Sixth one, CMLXIX. Again, we have to put them in their place values. I, X will be in the ones place. L, X will be in the what? Can you tell me? It will be in the tens place. And C, M will be in the hundred place. Now, C, M will give me 900 plus L, X 50 plus 10 gives me 60. I, X is 9. After addition, we get 960. Thank you class. Have a nice day.